A Rice State University associate professor is going to be working to train clinicians in PTSD therapy for military veterans. And here he is joining us live to talk about it today. Jeremy Schum is an associate professor at Wright State's School of Professional Psychology. Good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Welcome to 5 on 2. Thank you very much. PTSD, very important topic. You know, yeah. of course, our, all of our thousands of veterans have been coming home, mm -hmm. some of them with very visible injuries that we can see, lost limbs and right. the like. But PTSD, a hidden effect of war, but uh, extremely serious. It is, it is. And I'm, I'm excited about this training. I was associate uh, director of the PTSD clinic at the Cincinnati VA for a number of years. And so what we're trying to do is uh, train clinicians up in Montreal for the Canadian Veterans Affairs um, Program to implement the same evidence-based strategies that we were using in Cincinnati, we know to be highly effective. I think it's appropriate that Wright State is part of this because Wright State has a national reputation of embracing members of the military. Mm -hmm. You guys really go out of your way. How did this uh, connection come between Wright State and, and the Canadian VA? Well, uh, this particular program is really trying to mirror the program I was familiar with um, at the Cincinnati VA. And I worked uh, with some folks in Canada for a number of years, um, some colleagues uh, closely in doing PTSD research and treatment implementation. An estimated 45 million Americans struggle with the symptoms of PTSD, not all military veterans. Correct. It's not exclusive to them. PTSD, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder, one of these we think we know what it is, mm -hmm. but what is it exactly? How does it manifest itself? Yeah, so a lot of times people with PTSD, they have a hard time uh, getting the memory out of, out of their mind. Uh, they have nightmares. Uh, they feel on edge all the time. They want to avoid talking about it or thinking about it. And it, it really has a major impact on, on them and their families. Well, it can become completely debilitating. I Absolutely. mean, these people won't leave their house and really can't live a life. Right, that's correct, yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're actually very excited because at, at Wright State, we're, we are just now starting a Center for Post-Traumatic Recovery at the Ellis Institute. Yeah, let's Wright talk State. more about that because uh, this is, you know, the Canadian focus is great, but tell me mm -hmm. about this new service at home. Yeah, so uh, Wright State, really in the School of Professional Psychology, we have a unique um, number of experts in treating PTSD and other trauma-related disorders across the lifespan, ranging from children up through adults. And so this is something that would be very unique to the Dayton area and very needed. Um, you know, the trauma happens every day. Uh, approximately seven out of ten people in their lifetime will experience a trauma. 70%. That's right, yeah. All right. Now, most people do not get PTSD, fortunately, mm -hmm. but for those who do, it can be very hard to recover or know where to go for help. And so what we're trying to do is offer very cutting-edge, evidence-based treatment mm -hmm. Uh, to help people. And these, these therapies, you don't have to be in therapy for years. Uh, usually 8 to about 24 sessions, people are feeling much better and can have their lives back on track. All right, so recovery is possible. Good to hear there's light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, best of luck with your work up in Canada, and thank you for what you're doing for the Bets here Thank at you home. very much. All right, Katie, over to you.